All right, Officer Karen. Hello, Bobby. What can I do for you? I hope I'm not too late. What is it you're after? It's to vote. And right. it says go down to the station. Yeah, Bobby, it's to the polling station. This is the police station. Is it not the same thing, but it's the government, isn't it? See there where it says you need to go up to school, right? And then on the card, they don't have a number. It'll tell you which, which of the booths you go into, and then you just go in and, and cash your vote in there, it's, OK? It's in the school? Yeah. Are kids allowed to vote? No. You make a valid point. Um, they send them home today just to prevent that. If you head up just now and you just go in and they'll, there'll be people there, they'll show you where to go and you just make your vote and that's you done. And I vote for who I like? Yep, it's entirely up to you. That's what democracy's all about. You get to decide who's going to be in charge. Number one, obviously, would be Wesley Snipes. You know the guy out of Blade? Yeah, I'm sure he would be very helpful. Uh, in certain very specific circumstances, but I don't know how good he's going to be at getting the bins out. Number two, Ainsley Harriet, the TV cook. I'm, I'm, a, I'm aware of his oeuvre, yeah. He seems dead happy. He looks like a lovely person. Plus, if he was running the country, the food banks would be amazing. I think, I think really, you're more supposed to go and get your polling card and pick from the people who are standing in your area. I've got the power. You have got the power, Bobby. This is like a like, uh, golden ticket. I've got the golden ticket. Charlie and the Chocolate Factory. But it's politics. Yeah. Keep the pen, cos I'm absolutely buzzing for democracy. Am I right? See you later, Officer Karen.